I welcome you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Welcome to Fitness Friday. I'm here at the gym and um, my parents are actually at our house watching Eva right now. Um, Matt's got work. He's been at the office pretty much all week taking care of some stuff there. And then Matt's parents are still out of town. So my parents were kind enough to come and visit. They're hanging out with Eva for the afternoon. So I've got some time to myself. So I thought what better way to get a workout in and film a YouTube video. Um, so today's Fitness Friday, I wanted to talk to you guys about my fitness journey this year. Um, I think a lot of you guys, a lot of my my friends on social media have, have noticed um, I'm, I'm quite different now <laughs> than I was probably six to eight months ago. Um, I'm, I'm more, as we talked about a couple weeks ago on the channel here, I feel like myself again. And I know that a lot of this is due to the daily habits that I have focused on getting back to since being a mom, um, since getting hit with postpartum depression, all of that stuff. And so I just wanted to just kind of openly talk to you guys about what I've been doing, what I have found to be helpful, um, and kind of how, how my progress is going. And so if you guys don't know, I think most of y'all probably do know, I come from a past of not only unhealthy body image and, and eating habits, but I also come from a past of bodybuilding. So I've, I found that a lot of the time people kind of gravitate towards bodybuilding because it, it's a way to focus more on health, but then usually you kind of take it to an extreme, hence bodybuilding. Um, so done the competing thing in the past, um, but obviously since I got pregnant, I've, I've always tried to focus on, I've been trying to focus on my health and fitness. I worked out all during my pregnancy. I, I think that I had a, a pretty healthy pregnancy for the most part. Um, everything was pretty smooth. I didn't have crazy morning sickness. I didn't have crazy mood swings. Um, I, I mean, I really didn't have a whole lot of issues. I didn't have any back pains. I, my feet didn't really swell until the very end. So I was very, very blessed to have a healthy and, and safe pregnancy and even a delivery. Um, it was the postpartum period that hit me that hit me very, very hard. And that is where my health started to fall to the wayside because not only was I dealing with the hormonal crap storm that comes with postpartum, but I had a lot of issues with breastfeeding. And so basically all of my time as a new mom up until about eight months was focused on how I could produce more milk, how many times a day I could pump, how long I could pump. And I mean, I was dedicated you guys to being, I guess, producing the most amount of milk for Eva. Um, and, and so because of that, everything else fell to the wayside. So my focus was Eva. My focus was milk production and pumping. Like literally that was it. And so, Really, I had to eat a ton to to be able to produce what I was, which was not enough for her since we had to supplement. And so I had to eat a ton. Um, my stress levels were through the roof with all the hormone fluctuations. I spent all of my time either pumping, nursing, trying to nurse, bottle feeding, cleaning bottles, and pumping parts. I mean, it, that was literally my day for the first eight months or so. And I finally weaned at about 10 months. Um, and since then, that's whenever I started to focus a bit more on my, my own health. And I'm so glad that I did because I mean, you guys have seen, and I can't even explain to you guys how much better I feel physically and mentally where it all started. I would say was the 75 hard challenge. And I started that, we started that right around the time that I was finishing up nursing and, and in closing that chapter of my motherhood. And so the 75 hard, I'll link the video below if you haven't seen it. It's, it's basically a 75 day program designed to get you focused on mental toughness. A lot of people turn to it just for physical transformation, but it, it really is about mental toughness and, and focusing, making your priorities about 
mental health and, and being mentally strong. The physical changes come as a result of that. But it's 75 days straight of a certain amount of tasks. And we went through and we checked them off every day. Matt and I did it together. And it was the catalyst for the progress that I've made this year because it realigned me with my values of how important health and fitness is to me and how much my mental health correlates with my physical health. And so getting back into that, that was like the jumping off point for me. And once that ended, I, I kind of had a refreshed view of my goals. And really it's, I want to feel my best. And I know that my, my physical body reflects that. Whenever I feel my best, I know that I look my best. And so getting back into workouts, whether they were at home or in the gym, because that's the time whenever COVID shut everything down. And so we were doing all of our workouts at home. We were walking every single day for 45 minutes and then I would get in a 45 minute workout. If I wasn't doing a workout, cause I still take rest days, I was doing some type of mobility, stretching, yoga, foam rolling. So it was still physical activity, still focusing on my physical fitness. Um, it was tough, you guys. I mean, y'all can watch the video. It was not easy and I don't think that that, that program is for everybody because it is such a challenge. But it couldn't have come at a better time because it reminded me of why I love what I do as a health and fitness coach. It reminded me why I love coming to the gym every day and making myself physically and mentally stronger, but also encouraging others to do so. Because the gym is like my social time. I, I work from home. Now, obviously, I'm a stay-at-home mom. So everything that I do is at home, on a computer, on a camera, and I don't get a whole lot of human interaction. And I think that we're all kind of in the same boat at this point. And we have been for 2020. And so being back in the gym has been such a mentally positive thing for me. And I cannot stress this enough to you guys. How I, as an anxious person, I'm also a bit of an introvert. I don't like to go out of my own bubble. But I need to be around people, if that makes sense. And so the gym, literally things like going to Target, those little things provide me with with elements that keep me mentally healthy and keep my anxiety and keep my depression at bay, really. And so whenever COVID hit and and we couldn't get we couldn't go anywhere, it was it was so tough, but focusing on what I could at the time, which was those tasks with that challenge and, and getting my daily activity in, it changed everything because I started to focus more internally. And whenever the gym finally did open up again, I was able to get back that element of, of my health in terms of physical context, you know, human interaction. Um, and so, yeah, that I hope that makes sense. But after the challenge, the 75 days ended, I think that was in May, like right around my birthday. And then I think we were done with the challenge for Eva's birthday. And I, we continued forward. We continued to work out. I remembered why lifting and strength training has always been a priority of mine. And so I focused on continuing forward, even though my nutrition wasn't perfect, it, it never is, but it wasn't a main focal point for me because I just wanted to hone in on the workouts. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been slowly chipping away, I would say every single day in 2020, towards getting stronger in a mental, mental and physical aspect. And the physical changes had followed suit. I can put some side-by-side um, -side pictures for you guys to see. I'm freaking proud of the progress that I've made, you guys, because it's been countless hours and not just 2020 alone. The tiny little steps that I was able to take in 2019 before January, you know, how I would still come into the gym even two or three days a week. That was better than nothing. On the days that I was able to get in some vegetables, <laughs> on days that I was able to get in my water intake, days that I finally started sleeping more than two hours at night, all of those little elements have added up to where I am now. And I just want to encourage you guys to focus on taking small daily steps. If the whole idea of getting into a workout, into a gym, into some kind of workout program alongside eating healthy and drinking your water and getting plenty of sleep and maintaining your stress levels, if all of that's overwhelming to you, 
Start with your water. Start with one thing this week. Focus on that. Make that part of your daily checklist. Write it down. Put it up on a whiteboard somewhere. Part of Make that part of your daily checklist. And once that becomes a habit, move on to the next thing. So after you nail down your water intake this week, maybe focus on going for a walk. A 10-minute walk every day for the next seven days. And then that becomes a habit. And then you slowly build and build and build. And that's literally what I have been doing since May 28th of 2019. Since Eva was born. Well, yeah. Since Eva was born. I've been focused on taking small daily steps. And I know that people on social media will see my before and after. And I, I, would, I don't even want to call it a before and after. Because my journey is so, is so non-linear. There's no definite start and finish. Like I'm still going, I'm still going to be making progress in so many ways, but they see my side by side pictures and they think, okay, I want to do that. So now I'm going to have to start drinking all this water. I'm going to have to cut out all my favorite foods. I'm going to have to work out seven days a week. I'm going to have to do all this cardio. And they don't realize, they don't see the day after day after day after day that I focused on building back up these habits, on showing up on days that I did not want to show up. I can't tell you how many times I came into this gym and I felt hopeless and I felt defeated and I felt like I was starting from scratch. Everything that I had done in the years prior to having Eva, I feel like I was starting completely over. But I wasn't because I have the mental toughness already. I just had to find it again. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys today to focus on doing what you can in this day. If you can't do everything, focus on doing one thing at a time, literally one step at a time. And I just want to be able to encourage and uplift others along their journey. I don't care what diet you follow, what workouts you do. I just want you to focus on your mental and your physical health and focus on bettering yourself one day at a time because that's seriously what it's all about and that's exactly what I have done to get to this point and I'm finally at a point as a new mom or a mom I don't know if I'm still considered a new mom but I'm finally at a point now where I feel strong and confident and I enjoy my workouts and it has taken over a year and a half to get there again but I'm so glad that I took the time and I put the effort in every single day and I kept showing up for myself. So I just wanna encourage you guys today to find those little steps that you can take to move forward one step, one day at a time. If you guys want, I have a fitness Facebook group and it's literally just designed as a support group. It's a private group. You have to, um, you have to agree to the rules. Basically, it's, it's a support group. It's a place where we come to uplift each other Anybody that's in it for negativity, like you have no place in this group. We are there to share our journey, to encourage one another, ask questions. I post in there daily, multiple times per day. I try to do live streams every single day where I just sit and chat with you guys. So if you wanna join the Facebook group for an extra degree of accountability in your own journey, if you wanna ask questions, that's what I'm here for. And my, my hope with that group is to make it a very strong, tight-knit community of people that just want to be better, that just want to improve their health, that just want to improve their lives. And so you guys can join that. I'll post it in the um, description in the comments. But yeah, that's just something that was kind of on, on my mind today. It's been on my heart. I've been wanting to share it with you guys because I am at a point where people are starting to message me on, on Instagram and social media and ask me, you know, advice. Like, how did you do this? How did you get from this point to this point? And it, there's no law. There's no solid answer. I end up talking for 10 minutes because there's so many components that go into it. There's no quick fix. There's no one single program that's going to get you to where you want to be because you're different than I am. I'm different than somebody else's, you know? So my, my journey is going to look completely different than yours and, and your neighbors or whoever. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys to focus on taking those little daily steps. And if you need help, I'm more than happy to help in any way possible. If anything, just maybe provide some positive content on YouTube. So that's it for today's video. I cannot believe I just talked for 15 minutes. But I just, I love this topic. I'm just, I'm so passionate about what I do. And I love my clients and I love helping people feel better and just feel strong. So if you guys ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out. 
I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you did enjoy this video, make sure and hit the thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And we will see y'all next week. Have fun out there. Bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.